Hi, I'm Danny and I'm Gen Xer and this is my daughter. I'm Nala and I'm Generation Z. We've been debating which generation has the best games. So I dared him to play some of our games. And I dared her to play some of ours. Which is why we started I, I Dare, dare you, you to play. play. Here are the rules. The game has to be one they have never played before or seen anyone play before. So all of our comments and impressions are 100% fresh, first ever playthroughs. And we have to have fun. Please be advised there may be some language and or offensiveness. Maybe? Probably. No. There will be lots of language and offensiveness. Okay, so viewer discretion is advised? Yes. Welcome back! Episode 11 of I Dare You to Play Undertale. Yup! Here we are again. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we left off here with the... She's inside a computerized laser safe, also yep. known as a microwave. <laughs> the lasers have melted the edge of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Oh, God, that guy. <laughs> OMG, don't they get it? Ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc. What? Oh, uh, okay, so in the last episode, she was talking about... No, I... What the fuck is he talking about, okay. Mew Mew? Okay, so... Isn't that a Pokemon or she's something? She's referring to an anime called Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Yeah. What? I don't know if it actually exists, but she talks about it in this game. I doubt that it actually exists, because, you know, copyright stuff. I'm sure it's produced by MTT Productions. <laughs> Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Oh. So Iron Man 3. <laughs> Got it. Hey, you, stop! I will not. Wait. Why did you make me stop? Like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. Well, I'm clearly a Chucky doll, so keep looking. <sighs> they told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. Nope. I know, sounds scary, huh? Totally. Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? I feel like staying chill in Hotland is um, probably the wrong thing to do. People probably like it hot here. Whatever. Like Miami. What the heck? Why am I following huh? them? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? I'm wearing Bro. an apron. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. We like actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Okay. Royal Guard attacks. Oh. Oh my goodness. I can't run away. Whisper! <laughs> Whisper! <laughs> Alright. Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Like team attack. Team attack. Alright. Ah. Oh. I Wait. thought you would be able to just stand there. Alright, me too. Oh, one is polishing his face. Spit on his armor. <laughs> 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 Here, ball. Oh, shit. Like, you're dead and all. Sigh. I agree with the sign. <sighs> yeah. Damn it. Sweat pours from O2's armor. Fine. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Oh, snaps! Like, prepare to die, right? Heh. <laughs> Again. Hmm. Really don't like you guys. O2 watches your movements. You should heal. Okay, just about to say. <sighs> you recovered from your HP. Like perish and stuff. <laughs> perish. Oh, by the way, this episode is brought to you by Pepsi. Yeah, we're both having one. 
Just drank too much during those last episodes. Jesus. <laughs> So can't spare him. Yo, you have to weaken them both to spare them. Shenanigans, madam. No, shenanigans. Really. I promise. Shenanigans! I promise that's how it works. I say shenanigans. Kill them all. It's not shenanigans! Kill them all! I mean, it's their fault for trying to kill me. You know, it's just their job. They're just trying to make money, man. I'm just trying to stay alive. Staying alive. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> Staying stay alive. Staying stay alive. alive. You should heal now. Oh my god. You might be able to spare now? I think they fight to the death is what I think. Maybe? Oh, his breathing intensifies. It's not creepy. <laughs> he's oxygen! I don't understand why he's having a problem. Ugh. <laughs> uh, you get one chance here. Nope. I'm sad. Time to kill them. I'm sad! It's not my fault. I am sadness! And then they died. What is life? Bye bye. Oh, one, you. Hey, Papyrus, there's an opening on the guard. <laughs> Do you want to run away? I'll let you run away. No? With like no hit points, I can't spare yeah, you? Yeah, he's not going to let you get away now. Because you killed the other guy. But I tried to let him go. You saw me try to let them go. Bye-bye. Toodles. Totes my goats. Your love increased. Yep. Hope it was worth it for you. Levels. Oops, wait. How's the human doing? Top ten shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. I dare you to play on the YouTube channel. It's clearly <laughs> at the top of that list. That's... That's... Okay. Yeah. Totally. Ring. Okay, I'm back. A another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes! Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton, reporting live from Metaton News, or MTT, whatever you want to call it. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Overactivated puzzles. Scientist discovers health benefits of using computer... Just kidding. Whoa. LOL. <laughs> Local Metaton, very rich. Famous and gorgeous. Nice. <laughs> Tiny volcano monster Does. tries its best. Receives tiny applause. No, yeah, I killed it. Pyro ironically misses invitation to this to this scenario. Would have loved it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Local playing creates huge line at store by saying <laughs> it's not huh? like I want to buy these products or anything. <laughs> You're confused. confused. <laughs> Hotland technical malfunctions. 
as seed and, and reseed. reseed in linear progression okay. throughout area. Washua cleans up local crime. crime. <laughs> Literally, Literally finds criminals, criminals and douses them in soap. Crime doesn't go down, but it smells amazing. <laughs> Crime doesn't go down, but it smells amazing. Historic news ticker headline shortage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, alright. We're out of those. Darn. Okay. I assumed it would come back around. Maybe nope, not. I guess not. Alright. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotline. I already Hotland. read that. Yep. You scum. I'm refreshing everyone's memory. Um, oh god, not unfortunately, but fortunately! <laughs> our correspondent is out there reporting live. Oh my god. Dad, it's the annoying dog in the background. Yeah. <laughs> it's right above, it, for those at home, it's right above Metatron's head. On top of the building, he's just standing there. Yeah. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Poor yeah, our, our ten wonderful viewers have been waiting eleven episodes for us to find something interesting. Mm. <laughs> Look, a basketball. Mm. Too bad you can't play with these balls. They are Metatron brand fashion basketballs for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like Moy with moi. that beautiful moi. <laughs> moi. Moi. You can't moi get rich and famous like, like moi. Like moi. Yeah, it's French like for it me. Looks moi. It looks like moi. 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 It's moi. moi. Like a kiss? Yeah. That's weird. You've never, like, watched the Muppets? No. Nope. Piggy says it all the time. Like, moi! Yeah, like... <laughs> you can't and I'm pretty sure the only reason he knows this is because, you know, he has a grandchild. No. No, it was a big thing back in the 80s. Alright, then. Anyway. Uh, beautifying like, the orbs. Okay. Report this one. <laughs> what a sensational opportunity for a story! I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. It's behind your head. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one. Oh my, it's a present! And it's addressed to you, darling. Aren't you just bursting with excitement? What could be inside? Well, no time like the present to find out. You thought my jokes were bad, really? You know what? This game is, like, based around bad jokes. Mm. Ooh la la. This video game you found. It's dynamite. It says is dynamite. It is dynamite. Whatever. Oh, I don't make an appearance in it until three-fourths in. But I like that. Appearing from the heavens like mana, slacking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Slaking. Slaking. Slaking the well, audience. I don't know how to read, guys. <clears throat> yeah, uh, also, uh, first of all, it is actually dynamite. And also, you burst in like the Kool-Aid man! You don't descend from the heavens! Get it right. That's Metaton, or is it O? Oh, why don't you correct me? I'm just trying to help. Whatever. Oh no, that movie script. How'd that get there? It's a super juicy sneak preview of my latest guaranteed not to bomb film. Metaton the movie, a lot of 28. Numbers. Holy crap. Starring Metaton. Get used to it. I mean, wait till you get to Space Quest 28. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> choked. <laughs> That's not real, is it? Not that you're aware of. Oh, God. I mean, it kind of is. 
There's a mall involved. I've heard that, like, the other films! It consists mostly of a single four-hour shot of rose petals showering on my reclining body. Hmm. <laughs> oh, but that's not confirmed. He wouldn't, uh, spoil my movie for everyone with a promotional story, would you? Phew, that was close. He almost gave me a bunch of free advertisement. Oh my, it's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. And that's all she wrote. So pick one. Let's see, he designed the basketball. He's not fond of the dog, but then who is? <laughs> the present's got my name on it, which means it's gonna blow up. <laughs> this is literally dynamite. This is what he wants me to report on, so I'm gonna report on the glass of water. I read it. I'm sorry. I'm so, such a lukewarm water fan. Yeah. Attention, viewers. Our correspondent has found a glass of water. Which is kind of a big deal in hell. I'm just telling you. Like. It's kind of true. But what's astonishing about this glass of water is how uninteresting it is. Like all glasses of water, it's compa uh, comprised, freaking God, of water, glass, nitroglycerin, nitro nitro yeah. freaking it's God. Used, it's used in dynamite. Yeah. Of course it is. Wait a second. That's not a glass of water. I wondered why it hadn't evaporated yet. That's a bomb! Oh no! This news report is turning into a disaster report! But don't panic! Don't panic. Ha ha! <laughs> if only I had the Hitchhiker's Guide to Undertale. Oh! You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet! Oh my! It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb! That dog's a bomb! That basketball's a bomb! Even my words are! <laughs> Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs... I'm starting to sound like a virus. <laughs> this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes! You gotta get more game showy with it, I think. I, I'm this kidding. big bomb <laughs> will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Oh snap! Then you won't be <laughs> reporting live any longer. Ha! How terrible! How disturbing! Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. <laughs> Ring. The dog is sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you get to the space quest where they actually do an announcer voice for the. Oh God. <laughs> for the whole game, what? there's an there's an announcer. It's great. Don't worry. I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. No, of course you did. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. It was funny. It's that same game that has the announcer voice. You have to diffuse a bomb so you don't get it on your phone again. <laughs> Weird. It's in Space Quest 28. Okay. It's actually not 28. It's only like 20 or something. <laughs> she, she literally did the finger bang to her head. No! Boom! Just kill me now. Mm. 120 seconds left. Six Go bombs. get him. Is it defuse the dog? I don't... Did it work? Is that what I'm doing? Keep heading around the room. Try to go for the one in the bottom left next. I will if you'll stop. 
confused. A basketball! left. at one in the show. <laughs> well done, that was darling. A Galaxy Quest reference. Uh, ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to so, play that too, I so, No, that was a movie. Oh. They, 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 they diffuse the, the bomb and then like it keeps counting down and they can't figure out why the self-destruct thing is still happening and then it stops at one and they're like, oh, it always stops at one in the show, remember? Because they designed the ship around the show. So this guy takes his watch to uh, his, his, his grandfather's watch, it means a lot to him, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so he takes it to this old clockmaker, right? And he's a German clockmaker, he's uh, really old. And he comes in and he goes, What's, uh, what, can I, what, what can I help you with, you know? And he's like, well, I, it's really silly, you know, it's my dad's old pocket watch. He took it, you know, he had it in World War II and stuff, and it means a lot to me. And it's just, it's the silliest thing. He goes, what, what, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> You know, and uh, so he's like, well, it's, it's silly, you know, the, 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 clock, the watch, it keeps really good time, you know. And yeah, it, I've heard this one before, by yeah, the way. The it. viewers haven't. And I was it, about so to say, it's, they haven't. So, yeah, the guy checks it out, and he's like, you know, it seems to be working properly. What seem, you know, what is the problem? And he's like, well, it ticks, but it doesn't, but it doesn't, it tick, 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 like it doesn't talk, you know. And he goes, do not worry. We have ways to make them talk. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway, if you didn't get that joke, then just kind of let it sink in, and if it doesn't sink in, then, well... All the TikToks from the bomb made me think of it. Right. But I couldn't tell it while I was trying to confuse the bombs. Right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You've deactivated all of the bombs! That's right. We have ways to make them talk, darling. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in just two minutes. <laughs> now it won't explode in two minutes. Explode now. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Hey! Goodbye, darling. <laughs> 1001, 1002. Oh, yeah. He's it seems the bomb isn't going off. I'm just gonna let you do the voice. Ring. Yes. That's because while you were monologuing, I... I... fix... um... I... change... Oh no! You deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Why did I build a bomb with Wi-Fi? That's the question we should all be asking today. <laughs> Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. 
Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Nor do we. <laughs> we thank you. Until next time, darling. <laughs> my life is complete now. <laughs> darling. Oh, God. All right, then. Wow. We really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first. But I really think I'm getting more... Uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So, so don't worry about that big d dumb robot. I I'll protect you from him. See, he went all evil in his face again. Her, but that's fine. Whatever. And, and if it really c came down to it, we could just turn. Um, never mind. Turn him off? Yeah, that's a good idea. We should have done that Later. a long time ago. Click. I like how as long as I'm on the phone, the escalator doesn't work. Take bomb. <laughs> I might need it later. You bastards. I feel like it'd come in really handy. What, to bomb the place when you leave? Yeah. Mm. The soul generator back there, I can just like, boom, done, see? Toss bomb, done. I have five minutes to evacuate. <laughs> Ring! Ring! Shocker. Um. You ever just feel like you should turn your phone off? Maybe you should disconnect for a while. I know you've been kind of quiet. Yeah, I walked like two old screens without talking to you. Ah, oh, you man. Well, don't worry, okay? Um, the king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and well, with your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So, so no worry, him, okay? J just forget about it and smile. Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. That, that's your advice? Thanks. Landlord says your rent is late. You may have to litigate. Don't worry. Please select a location. Left floor one. Right floor one. Right floor two. Left floor two. We're on left floor two, I assume. We went to right floor two earlier. Yep, we want to go to left floor three. Do, 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 do. Elevator music. Oh, look! It's a little monster Vader. Monster Vader! Oh my god. Oh, sweet. Now we're in Beetlejuice. <laughs> it's not a beetle, but okay. Tell me this guy's got a hangover. Beetlejuice, the movie! What is wrong with you? I get it. Have you seen Beetlejuice? You've seen Beetlejuice, right? Am I, am I a terrible no, parent? You've I've seen, seen it, right? It. Like once. I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she been there, dude. Alright? I know what you mean. Kept staring at me in his creepy way and licking her lips. Now I'm out of cash. Yeah, that's that's how dating works. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. Spider bake sale! All proceeds go to real spiders. Remember that thing? The spider donut. It looks more rubbery than usual. It's not a donut, it's a donut, guys. <laughs> looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. Then she. I can't even buy stuff, dude. She really took you for everything, huh? Buy a spider donut for nine 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 nine. No, thank you. Spider cider. Spider cider. Ring. Yeah. Hi, Alpha's here. This room is like the room we saw before, and there are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. 
Also, I'd like to say blah blah. I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions. <sighs> Just call. I have an idea. Alright. Let's be friends on Undernet. <laughs> Then you can just ping me if you need help. Wait, where are you friends, Arnold? Yep. I signed you up, didn't I? Yep. You've been reading my post the whole time? Yep. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew too. Listen, kids. This seems like a really good time to bring this up. If you're in one of those relationships and, uh... Oh, God. Somebody keeps calling you, like... Like, let's say you go and you get in the shower. And then, uh, when you get out, you have, like, seven messages. Even if you take a long shower, even if you do something that it's only taking... Let's say you're recording an episode of I Dare You to Play. Or watching one. And, and you just want to be left alone and not get a bunch of phone calls. And then when you're done, you have, like, seven messages. And somebody's appendage is not missing. Like, ah! Somebody help! I'm losing! I can't find my, my right hand! This is Luke. Call me back. You know, like... That's acceptable, <laughs> but like if if they're just pissed because they don't know where you are right this minute, the best thing you can do is call them back or no don't and say we're breaking up and then block their number. And then if they continue to contact you through Facebook, email, and will not leave you alone, just go ahead and file for a restraining order. Uh, that's not normal. It's not okay. It's controlling. Don't do that to other people. If you're the douchebag that has to call your girlfriend, or you're the girl that has to call your boyfriend and know where they are, like every... He's not texting me back! What does it mean? Oh my god, he's with another woman! That's on you, okay? That's your own personal, like, stuff, and you should probably, like, if either you trust him or you don't, just break up. It's okay. It's okay. Just, uh, you, maybe you're not meant for each other. Maybe you need a little time for yourself. Either way, not okay. This guy... Not okay. I'm sorry, chick. This chick, not okay. She's got problems. All right. Just saying. Don't be that. Don't be that person. You done? For now. All right. Fair enough. You never know when it's gonna come up again. <laughs> And now, the puzzler. Um, you have just one shot this time. Yay, go me. Mark. Right when everything looks the baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. My fave Metaton moment is when he beats up the heel turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Stage clinger! This um doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but What are you wearing? <laughs> uh hey, would you wanna watch a human TV show together? Sometime? It's called um Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. That sounds awful. I'm not watching that. 
Cacti. You stop to smell the flowers. Really? That's it? Uh, which way am I supposed to go now? To the right, I assume. Can you quantify that noise for us? Do you have like a name for that noise? What is that? Oh boy. The smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. And, um, should we stop this episode here? Ah, oh, we got 10 minutes. Let me die at least once. I mean, alright. 10 more minutes, I guess. Do these bounce or do I get stuck? <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I always put mine outside to kill the bugs. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Just Nyla. Dang. <laughs> Just saying. Even I'm not that rude to <clears throat> spiders. I heard... That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I totally bought it from you guys on the first level. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. And cue Muppet. one of the best songs in the entire soundtrack. Little Miss Muffet set on her tuffet, eating yeah. her curds and whey. Yes. Everybody drink, by the way. Ugh. Um. Okay, I can't run away. Don't look so blue, my dearie. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> You're trapped in a strange purple web. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Um, now I got to cut you. Sorry. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> yep. Let you go. Don't be silly. I feel like her voice would be better if it was uh, Elvira's. What? <laughs> It's just a certain normal voice, but your soul is going to make every spider very happy. I feel like soul is an acronym. We're going to find out what it means later. All of these things are acronyms. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. 
Well, that's Maybe. extra fun. That's not. Mm. This is. It's a cupcake! And it's Space Invaders! <laughs> oh god, you're about to get eaten. Synchronized dancing! The person who warned us about you. a lot of money for your soul. Hmm. Boom, 80. They had such a sweet smile and <laughs> Use it like a boomerang, did you see that? Yeah. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape. Muppet pours you a cup of spiders. Nice. Up next, the cupcake. 80! Next, googly eyes. What the hell is that? Donuts? Yeah. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. That's kind of spiders like to live in ruins, though. To be fair, that's a, that's a thing spiders like is cold, dark places and things. This one. You're about to die super hard. Oh my god, is he gonna make it? Nope. Nope. Everybody drink! Hey! Also, that's the end of the episode. I knew it would be. Alright. Our fate rests upon you. Yay! Ooh. I get to say this again! Stay determined. Or not. So this has been episode 11 <laughs> yes. of I Dare You to Play Undertale. Oh, uh, boy. We'll be back in a week. Yep. Um, I'm kind of starting to wonder if Lucky 13 is going to be the episode where I finally finish this game. 
Uh, Wait, and anyway. 13? 13 is supposed to be a bad number. It's always been lucky for me. I like the spiders. They don't bother me. Except, until they started synchronized dancing, I will not abide synchronized dancing unless it's done by Mel Brooks. You understand? All right. <laughs> Maybe Mel Brooks is there too. It doesn't you? know. No, no. The jokes would be way better. Okay. Yeah. That's true. All right. <laughs> so, this has been uh, episode 11. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, leave us some comments. We'll see you next week. Yep. See you later. Bye bye.